Welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday the 24th of March. My name's uh, Archdeacon Arthur Copeman and it's my privilege to lead you in evening prayer on this day when we remember our, the first Bishop of the Diocese of Newcastle, Bishop William Tyrrell, and his remarkable work in establishing this diocese, in, in setting up it up as a place where, as he said, he cared for the salvation of the souls right across from, from the Hawkesbury to the northern tip of the country, and then would set up a number of dioceses within that during his episcopate. And so we praise and thank God for him today as we say evening prayer. We meet in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. A song of praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us and make your face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth will bring forth its increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. You, O God, will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear you. The day is now past, and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us as a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And the psalm is uh, Psalm 60 and 61. O God, you have cast us off and broken us. You were enraged against us. O restore us again. You have caused the land to quake. You've rent it open. Heal the rifts, for the earth quivers and breaks. You have steeped your people in a bitter draught. You've given them a wine to make them stagger. You have caused those that fear you to take flight so that they run from the bow. O oh, save us by your right hand and answer us, that those whom you love may be delivered. God has said in his holy place, I will exalt and divide Shechem. I will parcel out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah my rod of command. Moab is my washbowl, and over Edom I will cast my shoe. Against Philistia I will I shout in triumph. Who will lead me into the fortified city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? You go not out with our armies. Give us your help against the enemy, for human help is vain. By the power of our God we shall do valiantly valiantly for it is he that will tread down our enemies psalm 61 hear my loud crying O god and give heed to my prayer from the ends of the earth i call to you when my heart faints O set me on the rock that is higher than i for you have been my refuge and my strong tower against the enemy i will dwell in your tent forever and find shelter in the covering of your wings. For you have heard my vows, O God. You have granted the desire of those that fear your name. You will give the king long life, and his years shall endure through many generations. He shall dwell before God forever. Loving kindness and truth shall be his guard. So will I ever sing praises to your name, while I daily perform my vows.
God of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the reading for today is from 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 19. For it is a credit to you, if being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, what credit is that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise he made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Grant, Lord, that we who commemorate the faithful service of your servant William Tyrrell may not rest in knowledge in good intention only, but may love in earnest the work for the salvation of souls. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, who raised up your faithful servant Tyrrell to be a bishop in your church, and to feed your flock. Give abundantly to all bishops and other pastors the gifts of your Holy Spirit, so that they may minister in your household as true servants of Christ and stewards of your holy mysteries. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness may obtain of you the God of all mercy, 
perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. We pray that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his presence abiding in us he may raise us to joys eternal. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And our great God and Father, thankful for our first bishop. We do pray for our present bishops. We pray for Bishop Peter that you would sustain and uh, strengthen him this day and all that he undertakes. We pray for Bishop Sonia and Bishop Charlie that you would also sustain and strengthen them for their tasks. Uh, we commit to you the ministry of our cathedral and the dean, Catherine Boyer, that you would be strengthening and enhancing the ministry there and growing that ministry in that place. And across our diocese in the southern end, we pray for the parishes of Woi Woi and Michael Davies, for King Cumber and Alan Bate, and for Terrigal and Mark Watson, and praying that you would sustain and strengthen ministries in all those places and be growing your kingdom through the work there. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, we continue to pray for our world as it struggles with the pandemic from COVID-19. And we particularly pray that there would be a spread of the vaccine fairly across the globe and that this pandemic might come to an end. In our nation at this time, we pray for those who are suffering from floods. Pray that you would keep people safe and uh, at all times and protect uh livelihoods and futures and that we might have seasonable weather across our nation. We thank you though in the midst of that for the restoral of groundwater which has taken place through this rain and we praise you and thank you for that. We also hold before you today Lord those we know to be in need praying that your hand would be upon them your strength your grace your peace your healing love might be in each of them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father comfort our hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Amen. Thank you for joining me for evening prayer, remembering Bishop William Tyrrell.